Hello everyone. So welcome back to this question number 10 from this series of Quant Wasserl. And once again, we have a question from CAT 2021, slot 2. Let's start looking at it. So Raj invested 10,000 rupees in a fund. At the end of the first year, he incurred a loss, but his balance was more than 5,000. This balance, when invested for another year, it grew. And the percentage of growth in the second year was five times the percentage of loss in the first year. If the gain of Raj from the initial investment over the two period was 35%, then the percentage of loss in the first year. While doing these questions, you should always be making a picture in your mind. I mean, this is what I do. I try to visualize these problems. So 10,000 is the initial investment, right? In the first year, you have a loss. So my money decreased. But it did not go below 5,000, right? It's definitely above that. It's clearly written his balance was more than 5,000, which means the loss was not more than 50%, right? The loss was not more than 50%. This balance, when invested for another year, it grew. So from this amount, whatever that amount is above 5,000, whatever that amount is, wherever it is, I don't know what is that, but it further grew. And then it says the growth was five times of the first loss. So whatever this loss was, it was five times of that. So there was a big profit. And he says, ultimately, the value increased by 35%. That means it became 10,000, sorry, 10,000 plus 35%, 13500. What is the percentage loss in the first year? One thing is very clear. The answer cannot be 70. Because if the first loss is 70, it would have gone below 5,000. How can my answer be 70? Either my answer is 10 or my answer is 5 or my answer is 15. So one of these three would be the answer. When I look at 5, first time if there was a decrease of 5, so next time there would be an increase of 25. Even if I increase 10,000 by 25%, still it would not become 13,500. How can a number below 10,000 increased by 25% become 13,500? So even 5 is not my answer. We are able to eliminate two options very easily. What are we left with? 10 and 15. Try with any one. If that satisfies, that is the answer. If that does not satisfy, the other one is the answer. Ultimately, you just have to do one calculation. So let's try it for 10 now. So what happens if I take the percentage as 10? If the percentage is 10, so the first decrease, take it to 10% less, which means it takes it to 9,000, which is definitely above 5,000. Second time, there must be an increase, which is five times of that. That means an increase should be of 50%. So 9,000 increased by 50%, does it become 13,500? Yes. So therefore, option A is the right answer for us. Once again, a question in which you did not need any variables, any equations, any formula. You just needed a little aptitude to use these options as a tool for you, which we generally do not. Have a good day.